Well, we are back for some more ACC softball action. It's game two of the series between number 18, Florida State, and the Louisville Cardinals. Welcome into the booth here. The count to Kaylee Mudge. Swings on this, sky high into center field. The center fielder, Chelsea Mack, makes the grab. And take a look at the rest of the defense. Swings on this. Daisy Hessen, shallow left field, makes the backhanded grab for out number two. Three and one finds the five six gap, and Harding is aboard with a base hit. Will help her later in the game, trying to give different looks to the Seminoles. A swing and a miss, and a punch out for the freshman lefty. Nothing. Yeah, well, you're going to see her be in the mid 60s. She's going to throw a lot of different pitches, and uh, really look to get. You know, a different look every time she can. She'll feed the defense, and as you see there, Hess coming through. Ohio. That ball off the glove of Edenfield as Hess will advance 60 feet. Top performers are stacked at the top of the lineup. You might see them go away from the small ball in hopes of this. Nye Kerr coming up throwing. On the corners, everybody stayed at bay. This is outside. Forsyth, however, will swipe 60 on that pitch. So two runners now in scoring position. No outs here in the bottom of the first. Three and one misses outside, and Miller is now aboard, and the bases are juiced for the cards. No outs. Drills this one at the left field line. Two will score for the cards. And Bailey Richardson just continuing to ride that wave. Yeah, able to push that ball right past Beecham, and the infield was in. You saw, but enough pace on this because right past Beecham, you see how close she's playing. So little time to get through to that ground ball. Ball game. Clutch hitter, one and one. The count off the body of Edenfield. Both base runners will now advance 60 feet. It's up your next opportunity. Beecham checks at third, gets the ball over to Maya Ross at first for out number one here in the bottom of the first frame. Retires Gabby Holloway, two seasons prior to becoming a card. Chopper up the middle. The tag is applied. And Miller out at home. For sure. The three and one to Hasty. It's chopped over to Beecham. Beecham will make the throw over to Ross to retire Hasty. Louisville puts two across the plate. They lead. Heading. Kerr sends this one absolutely to the moon. However, Miller there able to make that grab. I thought that was a no doubter, Joanna. Itch that out, but. That's got to feel good coming off the hands. If you're Kerr, you're ready for your next at bat. Torres, a little chopper to Bailey Richardson and gets it over to Frizzell for the put out. Out number two for the cards. Got low. One and two is sent into right field. Under it is Vanessa Miller. She will make the grab in foul territory. A quick three up, three down for the cards. It's in staff. Payoff pitch to Goff. Takes one off the Evo shield, Joanna, for number 19 on the season. You know, it's just a matter of time. Little chopper. And too much speed by Mack. And she does what a slapper should do with that double bounce, Joanna, over the head of Danley. 
And Devin Flaherty can't do anything with it when she comes up with it. Absolutely best case. Coming to the cards from Georgia State. Daisy Hess transferring the year before last. They're saying she went. So a punch out for Danley for out number one here in the bottom of the second. Chelsea Mack on first for her base runners. She takes one off the elbow. That'll load the bases for the cards. A second hit by pitch. Bottom left. Another payoff pitch. Catches the inside part of the plate for a backwards K and will retire Miller on the base path for the cards. Two and two is swung on, and Danley with three strikeouts in this frame to get in the circle. Swings on this into right center field. Vanessa Miller makes a great grab for out number one. Team stands second in the ACC with 147 walks. And a drill up the middle as Flaherty is aboard with the single. Her process. As Kaylee Mudge skies one to left field. Paige Garrity makes the grab for out number two. There's Coach. Yeah, they do. She gets the most out of her team. This is Beecham. Skies one to center field. Mack will make the grab. And another quick defensive outing for the cards. We're going to head to the bottom of the third after this. Lisa Torres over to Bueno for the putout. As Holloway is retired. Bueno able to step on the bag using that right handed glove as a lefty. Makes it easy to feed Jack Hasty. Find the 3 4 gap, but what a play there! by Devin Flaherty moving to her left, showcasing what a defensive specialist she is doing that in 2000. But so many people would credit, and rightfully so, Coach Dabina for everything he did to bring softball to the level where it is throughout the entire state of Kentucky. Pay for it. Another one and two to Edenfield. And she does just that. That one is a no doubter into the outfield. Left center field as Edenfield cuts the lead in half. Fires up her team. Yep, and that's where it's really tough. And, and you don't expect Richardson to make that catch or has to make that catch easily. But if they do, this doesn't happen. Edenfield gets all of it. You can see that ball has a ton of plate on it. It's a left over. You're going to miss pitches. And the team that can take advantage of the missed pitches the most will win. Edenfield definitely took advantage. Right field back in the second. Swings on this. Brooke Gray makes the grab. Almost runs into Riley Frizzell. This is drilled into left center field. Mack unable to glove that on the backhand. Torres will hold up at second. Stand up double for the freshman. A swing and a miss and a punch out for Gabby Holloway. Florida State does put one across the board. Home run off the great game. Goff gets another free pass. This time it's based on balls. Isa Torres moving to her left. Gets the ball over to Bueno in time for the out. Out number one. Escaping out the bottom of the fence for a ground rule double, but she does a great job. She sees it. Excellent use of her lower half. You watch her legs drive through this pitch and just past the stretched Beecham. Great job from Hess. Ready, 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 ready. 
Danley making quick work of Riley Frizzell will retire her via this. Swings on this, a chopper to the right hand side. Bueno underhands it to Flaherty, steps on the bag for out number three. But Daisy Hess with a double gets another one across the board for the car. Schedule an ACC conference play. Angeli Bueno drills this, lines out though to Daisy Hess, flashing some leather. Had a lot of Adam balls. Daisy Hess dives for this one and doesn't, isn't able to connect with that ball. And another single for Devin Flaherty. Pair of singles on her resume for the day. Might be retired. One and one to Mudge. Brazil looking to turn the double play, but Flaherty there in time. Lots of speed. Great heads up play there by Frizzell. Jason A. Beecham. Skies this one to left field under it is Paige Garrity shielding her eyes, trying to find the ball, loses it in the sun. <laughs> Chopper to the right hand side. Jack Hasty unable to glove that bouncer. Vanessa Miller will just hold on to the ball in Florida State time. Those against then pitcher Brooke Ray. Swings on this, sends it into right center field. And miscommunication there. And Joanna, another defensive miscue. As Belvi will cross the plate, and Florida State has taken the lead. This is a chopper to the right-hand side. Frizzell will take it herself. Step on the bag to finally retire the side. Florida State with a trio of runs. To Bailey Richardson. And she gets the walk. Just the second walk issued from Danley. The 0-2 to Holloway. Sent right back up the middle off the glove of Danley. She'll underhand it over to Bueno for the out. The 0 2 to Garrity. Swung on. Sent up the middle. Richardson has Holly April's wheel. The throw is going to be close, but not on target. And Richardson crosses the plate to tie the game. Enough to the plate, they had a chance. Richardson turned on the jet. Drilled over to Devin Flaherty, who gets the ball to Bueno at first. And again, ducks on that high and inside. First batter that Reed has faced, and it's a walk. Back looking to time up her swing here. Pulls it back. This is high. No one there to cover second. So Goff goes ahead and the payoff pitch to Mac. Swung on, missed, and a big punch out for McKenna Reed. Louisville strands two, but they put one across the board. We're tied at four. This is drilled up the middle. Pickle Winkler, welcome to the game. The ball has found you. Torres aboard with a single. That now to Katie Dack, junior from Colorado. And boo. First two batters face here. One drills one up the middle. Swing and a miss, and a big comeback pitch there for Sam Boo. That miss is well inside and juices the bases for the Seminoles. Oh, 
Little chopper up the middle and off the glove of Zabala and then under the legs of Hasty. Two will score. And Florida State takes a 6-4 lead off the bat of Kaylee Mudge. Mudge just sticking with this pitch. It uh, doesn't have to look pretty to get a job done. She puts it in play and lets things happen. Hasty unable to come up with that one. So two runs scoring here in the top of the sixth. With those runs, this is skied into left field. Paige Garrity makes the grab, but Flaherty will tag and slide across home plate for another run for Florida State. It's 7 4 Knowles. Another payoff pitch is sky high. Pickle Winkler under it in center field. She will make the grab. Finally, for the cards, out number three, Florida State. Puts a Got the University of Kentucky midweek here. That'll be on the ACC Network with Matt Schumacher and Amanda Scarborough. And they're leads this Cards team with nine home runs and 40 RBIs. Drills this in the center field. And Janai Kerr giving chase back at the warning track. And it's a stand-up double for Briley Frizzell. Swings on this. Bueno able to beat that out, though. Took it off the shoulder, but able to collect it off that hop. Steps on the bag before Miller, but Frizzell advances to third. Two outs now for the Knowles. The two and two to Richardson is swung on, sent into left center field. Kaylee Mudge under it. She makes the grab. Louisville Strands, another base runner. Florida State still leads. By this is absolutely skied into left field. Under it is Paige Garrity. And it's off the fence. Edenfield going for three. And it's a stand-up triple for Edenfield. Over to Bailey Richardson, who gets the out at first. Another run, crosses the plate. And that run will be credited to Zabala. Mullen inducing the ground. So out number one, and that'll bring Issa Torres back to the plate. She drills this into center field, giving Chase's pickle Winkler. She'll play it off the fence. Gets it into Bailey Richardson at second base. And a big double for Issa Torres. Swings on this, skies it. Daisy Hess calling for that ball, makes the grab for out number two. Again, sky to the left-hand side. Moving to her right is Daisy Hess. Gets second and third out. Florida State gets another one. Quiet. Three ground outs so far. And this is a line out to Beecham. Talking about a hot corner, flashing some leather. Duck. This is into shallow center field. Janai Kerr knew exactly where to be on that play. Two quick outs for the Seminoles, and they're one out away from making it a rubber match. And this is drilled into right center field. Harp giving chase. And it's a stand-up double for Maddie Grant, looking to get a rally started here on two outs. Well, Maddie Grant making the most of this hop. Another 0-2 is swung on, and McKenna Reed with the punch out for this 8-4 win and the 900th win as a collegiate coach for head coach Lonnie Alameda. Congrats to coach. The 20th active coach to reach that milestone. Rubber match it is. Louisville took game one. Florida State took game two. So on behalf of my broadcast team, my broadcast partner, Joanna Lane, I'm Suzanne Bush saying so long from Louisville. We'll be back on the ACC Network Extra.